Hello, hello, hello. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Make Up Monday. It is your girl Tabitha here. So today I'm going to be testing out, reviewing, swatching some Dollar Tree makeup. I actually have a lot of it. A lot of it is like lip products, but I do have eye products. We have these brushes here. We have a ton of stuff, Dollar Tree makeup to try. So let's just go ahead and get started. So I do have these brushes. They just say makeup brushes. They have like a little plastic or a little cardboard little thingy here. Got some stiff bristles here. I, I, I did not want to use this to do my, as you guys can see, I do have my base makeup apply. I just was not in the mood to be trying to tinker with this. So we'll see what we can do with that. I do have a powder brush, which I am going to test this out today because I do have the Aziza Studio Blush and this should work well with it. Looking at the brush, okay, it's pretty soft. We'll see if it, you know, can hold product. As you guys can see, these are like unicornish. Again, if you're someone who's sensitive to this unicorn stuff, might not be the video for you to watch, just saying. This is a concealer brush, and I do not have, I just don't, I got it because I wanted to try it with actual not with concealer, but I actually want to try this with um, like eyeshadow. So just a flat brush that you can use for concealer, what it says concealer. But I just don't, oops, I'm going to attempt to try it today. So I think that I'm just going to complete my base makeup or my face makeup by trying the Aziza Studio Professional Blush. It is, it has two different colors in it. It just says urban and it says long lasting smooth finish. It does come with a small brush here, but that's like, I hate when these products come with these type of brushes because this is just not the type of brush that you would normally use for blush. So this is the brush that comes with it. It's just like, that's going in the trash. This is the component here, opening it up. I'm just gonna quickly swatch it. They are a tad bit, just a teensers, just a teensers powdery. So it didn't, this is not like a name brand type of product. So I'm just gonna actually just kind of do like this to get both the colors on the brush. Does not have like little to no, no fallout really. Um, obviously it's picking up on the brush quite well. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna dust off the excess and then... Okay guys, so you can faintly see the product, which is fine. I'm actually going to work today, so I don't need anything too dramatic, but it's just okay. It went on nicely. It's not, um... like two out there if you want like a uh something with a little bit more i mean obviously you can use more but this brush seems to pick up the product nicely we're gonna first i'm just gonna first try this elf this is just a black but it's a shimmer black so that's interesting. It does have a little bit of glitter in it. I'm gonna put this in the lower, the lower lash line. water when I did that but my eyes, my eyes always water when I do the lower lash line so it's not bad it's just like a regular just like your basic um, 
black eyeliner. Um, looking on my eye, I don't really see the sparkle. Like you saw a little bit, like the shimmer that's supposed to be in it. But it's like, what can you do? So guys, so I'm going to go into this e.l.f. This uh, Molten Liquid Eyeshadow. Okay, so this is the component here. I'm going to go ahead and try to do a swatch of it. Alright guys, so it does look promising actually. I am going to put just a little bit of color into the crease. Okay guys, so I'm going to take the applicator and just kind of apply this on to the lid. And then I'm going to actually use that concealer brush to blend this out. So far it's going on nicely. I'm going to use... Actually, I think I'm going to do one eye at a time just in case this does not work out. Definitely have to blend it out fast. This is how the first eye looks. And then I'm trying to move it, but it's like no go. So let me try to put the same amount on the other eye. I think I have a feeling why this hit the Dollar Tree again. This is like an e.l.f. product. So like a, any other store, this probably would have been, what, probably 6 to $8 for this. But I am noticing that it's not blending out. When I'm trying to blend it, it's just like... It's basically saying, like, what are you doing? Like, oh, you're trying to blend me out? Seriously? So yeah, if you guys can see that, it's okay, like, liner worked really well. I went ahead and put on some mascara, so this is just a no. It's just, it's hard to blend out, and I think that's honestly not due to just like, it might not even be the product, it might just be the, the, the fact that this product is probably old I don't know but anyway it's going in the trash next up guys I really want to try this wet and wild glitter single here I've tried these when like they first maybe hit the scene and I was not impressed at all so I kind of feel like I like loose glitter better but this is what it looks like it has before I've used it and I've noticed it has like a waxy type of yeah see once you get past the the top portion it feels like very greasy but let's just put it on the eye. I'm gonna use my finger this time and we're just gonna apply this right on top so nothing is wrong with this in itself but I just personally don't like the waxiness or like the greasiness underneath the glitter. I feel like even with loose glitter, honestly, you have more control. So I'll keep it just because, you know, I kind of, you know, for days you don't necessarily want that pow. Again, this is just like a first impressions, but I've used these before. It's really not a first impressions because I've used these before and just have not been impressed with them. So I'll keep it but just the consistency it's like mixed with something it's not okay guys so these silly color lipsticks they had tons of them at the dollar tree um but i just got three colors three that i thought would work best for me i am gonna open up this elf lip liner this is in the color bitter it says long wear lip liner pencil so i'm gonna open that up and i do have a red lipstick from city color so i am going to try this lip liner too it's like a dark red so i'm going to put this on first there we have it for the lip liner i actually really like the elf lip liners i'm going to go in with the color ketty ketty okay guys so this is the lip liner here really really like it i actually like the elf 
lip liners and I like that it comes with a sharpener too. I'm going to go in with this City Color lipstick in the color Kelly, which is this nice red color. Let's try it on the lips and see how it looks. So this is the color Kelly by City Color. It's more of like a brighter red in my opinion. On camera it's coming off pretty bright. But at first glance, I it, it looks okay from the first glance. Um, I didn't have to go over it too many times on my lips. It gave an easy application. Um, it does say that these are matte colors. They're called City Color B Matte Lipstick. They do feel like a matte... And they do, this one has like a weird smell. Hmm, interesting. Okay guys, now this is the color. This one just says red. So as you guys can see here, this is more like a... I guess it is a little bit darker compared to this one. So I'm going to try on the actual red and see how this one looks. This is the color red. Now this one feels like a true matte. Um, I think my eye color, the eyes and this lip are kind of throwing me off a little bit. They don't necessarily go together. But, I don't know, I'm just kind of feeling okay about these. They're not like, oh my god, let's go run out and get them in my opinion. Guys, this last color is called Latte. So this is a lighter color, but I'm going to puts on this LA color shimmer on top and hopefully that will do something okay guys now obviously but this lipstick by itself does not look like anything but the reason why I got this is because these type of colors go great to do like an ombre if you have darker colors so I'm gonna use the LA colors shimmer shiny lip gloss this is in the color glimmer who has a flat applicator Ooh. again this combo is not is not it this color this combo is not it so i'm gonna reapply that for my last lip and i'll show you guys what i would how i would normally wear it i'm gonna try this aziza studio professional lip gloss it just says the color too, but it reminds me definitely of fall since we're in the fall season. So this color, I absolutely love. It gives a little bit of the color. It's kind of like, I really don't know how to describe it. It just reminds me of grape when I saw it, but with the flavor grape. The color you would think of grape is something like a purple, but... Um, cause it kind of, oh, I guess it kind of has like purple reflective in it a little bit, but this lip gloss by itself though, it's not sticky. Like I said, guys, I wish I could have, I could find the other lip gloss that I have of the Aziza one. I wear it all the time and it's just really good. This one is really good by itself too, but imagine this on top of a lip color, like a darker lip color. Come on. Okay guys, I'm going to try the other LA Color Shiny Lip Gloss in the color Twinkle. I love this color. So we're going to see. These are very like pigmented. She's pigmented. This is just wearing it by itself. This is an another beautiful color. Again, on top. These are definitely toppers. Like this is something I would never, me myself, could not see myself wearing these just out. But they are beautiful colors. Very, very nice. Again, I'm going to put this one on and show you guys how I would normally wear it. See, and then that's how I would normally use these. And then you get a little bit of a glossy effect. Yes. Okay, guys. So that was everything. So my favorites are definitely, definitely these Aziza lip glosses because they're not sticky. They're just really pretty colors. Give you that nice lip gloss shine without the stickiness, which I love. These these are really really good i want to go back and honestly get like all the colors i honestly think i have these two already but 
they're like backups I guess but these are just really really pretty as toppers on top of a lipstick the city color ones were just okay I thought I would like those more than I did but it's like it is what it is I do really like the elf lip liners I actually really like those these these are kind of surprised me but it's just it was okay the brushes again it's like I don't think I would use this it's like no this one was not too bad it's not it wasn't too bad at all it did what it was supposed to do it's a nice light fluffy brush and it's like what can you do it's it's pretty good well, thank you guys so much for tuning in please make sure you guys subscribe it is free it doesn't cost and then make sure you hit the notification bell that way every time i upload you will not miss another video so thanks guys so much for tuning in as always i really appreciate you guys for watching i cannot say that enough and i will check you guys out in the next video bye